We are here at WRUGradio.net with Carlton C. Major Little. Carlton, how you doing today? Feeling good, feeling good. Now this is the question that's on everybody's mind. June 4th, are you ready to get your title back? Man, I've been waiting on this day for a while now. I mean, just, I sleep and eat, you know, get my belt back. That's all. When I'm in the bathroom, I think about getting my belt back. So, you know, this will be a real big opportunity for me. Uh, I'm ready to get that thing back around my, around my waist. Now we're wondering, how are you a different fighter from when we saw you last in December against Rico? Man, I've had it's been like four or five months to just, you know, take care of some errors in my game, uh, add more weapons to my game, you know, working a lot of Muay Thai, kickboxing, you know, and then still building my, my ground game up to ready to be in conditioning, you know, just still experimenting with stuff to make sure I go there and go five rounds. So. Excellent, excellent. Getting back to the gym. I like to hear that. Now, what are your thoughts on your opponent, Dakari Sanders, and how do you see this fight going for you June 4th? Oh, man. You know, Dakari is, is, a, is an athletic guy, you know, got a high motor from what I've seen, and conditioning is pretty good. You know, I just think that I'm going to have to go in and be a technician, you know, show that I'm a veteran and, just, it, 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 you know, expose his weakness and go to my strength. So, uh, but I definitely see him as a threat, you know, it's not going to be an easy fight for either one of us, you know. He's number two, you know, I was the former V3 champ, so it's going to be fireworks, man. You better come in there and get your popcorn. Now, he went in the V3 cage and beat your teammate Donnie Woods in March. Have you talked to Donnie at all about some of the carry's tendencies? Yeah, um, just, you know, some, some, the way that he reacts to certain things that Donnie did, you know, we kind of worked that in training and... A lot of takedowns, you know, a lot of takedowns because Dunny was able to get him on his back a couple of times. And, and I believe the difference between me and, and Dunny is going to be that once I get him there, that's why I'm going to keep him. You know, I'm not letting him up at all. I'm going to put the 220 plus pounds that I'm going to be in the cage on him. I'm not letting him up. Now, we know MMA is all about training. What kind of camp have you put together for this fight upcoming? Oh, we've been getting good work in with, like I said, the, the big family, USA, Hustle, Ronan. Uh, I got a lot of big bodies, man, so just going in there, doing a lot of shark tank, um, a lot of conditioning, and I'm getting to work with a lot of guys, you know, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu guys, guys that practice Jiu-Jitsu, and it's kind of helping me with my ground game, being able to secure positions and all that, so I'm going to this fight, man, more confident than I've ever been. Excellent. Well, anything you want to say to the carry? You got a chance right now. Oh, first of all, I want to tell him congratulations on this you know, victory, and uh, what Rod told me it's recent, you know, having a child, uh, and being fight of the month, you know, that's, that's a big honor, man, you know, enjoy it, and I look forward to seeing you June 4th, man, let's go. I like that, keeping it classy, that's cool, that's always been you, Carlton. Well, any final comments, shout outs, or thank yous you got? W-R-U-G, definitely, thank you guys, V3, Hostel, USA, uh, Ronan, play a fly. He's going to be there. Y'all make sure y'all come. It's going to be an exciting show. Come see us. Minglewood, June 4th. Well, thank you so much. And, of course, we'll be seeing you June 4th.